Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this lecture, we are going to solve this problem. In this, we are giving these two springs with stiffness K1 and K2 and arranged in parallel as shown in this figure. And this is given when the F is zero, this bar is remains horizontal. And when we apply the force F, this will relate this with this expression F is equal to K equivalent multiplied by x so we need to find out the equivalent stiffness of this system so let's consider this is the horizontal bar a and b right so this is a point and this is b point let's say this is a point this is b point and this is c point where this force is applied f and when we apply the f force this will displace like this so let's say this is a prime so this c prime this is c prime and this displacement of c point is let's say this is x and this is b prime point and this is x1 and displacement of b point is let's say this is x2 so now this is the force diagram when system is displaced there would be a force because of first spring right and this would be the force because of second spring or oh, this is a prime point and this is b prime and this is c prime point and this is force f and this displacement or this di distance is given as l1 and this distance is given as l2 now from this figure we can write x in form of x1 and x2 so we can write x equals to from here we can say that this is x1 right because this is x1 and this displacement can be written as x2 minus x1 so if we find out the gradient of x2 minus x1 over the length l1 plus l2 so gradient will be x2 minus x1 over this total length right so this total length is l1 plus l2 and if we multiply that gradient by L1, then they will find out this one, right? So we can write this displacement X will be X1 plus something. So this is X1 plus X2 minus X1 over L1 plus L2 multiplied by L1. So this is X or if we solve this, then this will be x1 plus x2 l1 over l1 plus l2 minus x1 l1 over l1 plus l2. So from here we can take the x1 from these two we can take the x1 common so this becomes x1 1 minus l1 or l1 plus l2 plus x2 and this is l1 over l1 plus l2 so from here we can write this is this becomes x1 l2 over l1 plus l2 plus l1 over l1 plus l2 multiplied by x2 so this is x now from the equilibrium of the forces in vertical direction you can write vertical force equilibrium 
if we apply the equilibrium approach over this diagram then we can say f1 plus f2 is equal to f because f1 and f2 both are acting in the vertical upward direction and f is acting in vertical downward direction so we can write from the force equilibrium we can write f equals to f1 plus f2 and from the moment equilibrium we can write the moment equilibrium about c prime point gives if we apply the moment about this point right so we can say the moment created by f1 about this point is f1 multiplied by l1 and moment created by f2 is f2 multiplied by l2 and from the equilibrium we can say f1 l1 is equal to f2 l2 so from moment equilibrium we can write f1 l1 is equal to f2 l2 so now we have two equations so from these two equation we can find out f1 and f2 let's say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 so from these two equations we can write from equations 1 and 2 we can get f1 equals to So using these two equations, we can write F1 equals to F L2 over L1 plus L2 and you can write F2 is equal to F L1 over L1 plus L2. So this can be find out using from here you can say F1 equals to F2 L2 over L1 and if we replace this f1 in form of f2 then this becomes f and at the f1 at the place of f1 we can write f2 l2 over l1 and this is f2 so from here you can take the f2 as a common and we can write l2 over l1 plus 1 so from here we can write f is equal to f2 and this is l2 plus l1 over l1 so from your here you can write f2 equals to f multiplied by l1 over l1 plus l2 and similarly we can find out f1 also right so these are two forces now we can say that the displacement of the springs k1 and k2 are given by so you can say the displacements of these two springs So we can find out the compression in these two springs this is k1 and so compression in the spring is x1 and compression in spring 2 is x2 so we can find out x1 and x2 so as we know that f1 is equal to k1 multiplied by x1 so here we can write f1 is equal to k1 multiplied by x1 so we can write x1 is equal to f1 over k1 so f1 already we know that this is f1 so this is f l2 over k1 and l1 plus l2 and similarly we can write x2 so x2 is equal to f2 over k2 and f2 is f l1 over l1 plus l2 and multiplied by k2 so these are x1 and x2 and as we know that the displacement of force F can be find out using this equation. So displacement of C point which is X right. So now we can find out the displacement point C at which force F is acting. So now we know that this is the x and in form of x1 and x2 we know that value of x right. So this is x. So now we know the x1 and x2 both 
So we can replace the value of x1 and x2 in this equation and we can find out the x, right? So x equals to, so from here I can write x equals to, this is f l2 over k1 l1 plus l2, right? And we know that this is the L2, X1 multiplied by L2 over L1 plus L2. So at the place of X1, we replace this value, right? So at the place of X1, we write F L2 over K1 L1 plus L2 and X1 is multiplied by this so we'll multiply it by this one so this is l2 over l1 plus l2 and similarly this is the second term in this equation l1 over l1 plus l2 multiplied by x2 so we'll write l1 plus l1 plus l2 and at the place of x2 we'll write this so this is f l1 over k2 L1 plus L2. So if we simplify this expression, then F over L1 plus L2 whole square of this can be taken as common term, right? And remaining terms are L1 square multiplied by K1 plus this is L2 square K2 over K1 plus K2, K1 multiplied by K2. So now we know that the equivalent spring constant of the spring in the direction of X, you can write equivalent spring constant of the system in the direction of x, which is k equivalent, right? So that can be given by k equivalent is equal to f over x, right? Because we are given this expression, so f is equal to k multiplied by x. So from here we can write k equals to f over x and x already we know that. So this is the value of x. So we'll replace this value in this expression. So this is f over this expression, right? So this is f over L1 plus L2 whole square. And this is L1 square K1 plus L2 square K2 over K1 K2. So this f will get cancelled out and this expression will becomes k equivalent equals to l1 plus l2 whole square multiplied by k1 k2 over l1 square k1 plus l2 square k2. So this is our answer. So this is the k equivalent of this system. So this is how we can solve this type of problem. So we find out the k equivalent of this system and k equivalent we find out as k equivalent equals to we can write l1 plus l2 all square k1 k2 over l1 square k1 plus l2 square k2. So this is answer and this is the way how we can find out this k equivalent. So thank you.